parts of Harlem are reimagining outdoor dining. And businesses are not only keeping safety in mind, but also adding some flair. CBS 2's Kevin Recone is live in Harlem with more. Kevin, what's going on? Well, Dick and Alice, so what makes this outdoor dining experience uh, different is the emphasis on being different. These spaces have artwork, their own flair, while maintaining that emphasis on safety. For Jessica Spaulding and her business partner, Asha Dixon, they know what it's like to struggle. And I remember going to the bank and trying to get loans to open up up here, and everyone was just stating how impossible a feat it would be to survive. They own the Harlem Chocolate Factory. They make artisan chocolate with a local twist. When the pandemic hit, they went from a brick and mortar shop to a mainly online business. It just required a lot of pivoting, a lot of adapting to, you know, what's changing, what's working, and pushing forward. With the help of Uber Eats and others, they now have their own outdoor dining space here along Adam Clayton Powell Jr. Boulevard. Although this is a small structure architecturally, it's actually been very impactful. For it to be in Harlem is absolutely important. It has space for people to sit down in overhead heaters to deal with the cold winter days ahead. It also has art. I created this specifically for this project. It's a new piece and it's a new painting. Lerone Wilson created this painting that's now adorned outside of the chocolate shop. He's one of several local artists who were commissioned to help make these outdoor spaces different. It's really important to highlight those stories in the midst of, of all this change. Misha helped design the pavilion for Aliyah Baylor, whose family moved here over two decades ago. What you see in this parklet represents my great grandparents, my great aunts and uncles um, from our farm in Mississippi. Not only does her space feature family photos, she added her own personal flair with some chandeliers. This is a con contribution to the community. This is a reflection of the community because we're a community neighborhood business. So when you see this, you're a part of our family. And these outdoor spaces comply with all the important safety procedures, 50% airflow, they're socially distanced once the tables are out here. And more importantly, it's another lifeline for these minority-owned businesses. Live in Harlem, Kevin Rincone, CBS 2 News. All right, Kevin, thanks a lot. Wow, that, that looks cool. great. Wow, how cool. Oh, the chandelier, the artwork, I really like that. And you felt like you're at home just sitting there, and you weren't, we weren't even there, you could just feel that I way. I know, and i got to tell you, with the outdoor dining, as long as you have layers and the heat lamps, you're fine. You you're are. Totally it's fine true. to do it. So. Uh, below 32 might be a little different, but pretty much, <laughs> though, you're right. You could do it. You could you could layer up. Yeah.